So we're finally at a very important part in this series. I have finally revealed where all the uranium is within this world. So let's go ahead and jump into what Civ has the uranium and, and see exactly who can build nukes and who might just use them. I seriously fucking love you guys because if anything, the most unanimous, I guess, player in this entire map that everyone is rooting for is Brussels. Unfortunately, obviously they've gotten a lot of power taken away from them, which is really, really sad. Rest in peace, Brussels. But Brussels does not have uranium. Yes, I know the whole com- everyone in the comment section is going to be terrib terribly sad because Brussels is- it seems like the only people that we all kind of agree with, want that we all want to win, is Brussels. Uh, how about the second favorite? Florence. <laughs> if it's not going to be Brussels, it may be just Florence. Uh, Florence has no uranium either. Uh, by the way, speaking of strong city-states, again, Prague might be the next city-state that could gain a whole lot of power. Actually, it looks like Prague is going to be able to do this. It looks a little bit... They look more likely to take Vienna than maybe Austria. It depends. I mean, these pikemen will be... Oh, well, no, they won't be attacking across the river, so it's likely... Okay, so let's jump into it. I'll, I'll stop talking about random things that don't matter with city-states. So it doesn't look like... Elizabeth, now, before I get into this, I'm more than likely going to miss some of the resources. I apologize in advance. This map is just so full of so much different stuff. Uh, so she does, because of her newly acquired city from Portugal a few videos ago, she has access to four uranium. That is a, a good amount. Uh, there is no uranium in Iceland. I did check. Uh, so there is nothing up here, which actually there is. There is. So that's a key, key spot. That's four uranium. You know what? Actually, Portugal is pretty expansive, but... They're actually going to lose a lot of cities uh, because of the new war they're in. Actually, you know what? Never mind. They're, more, they're probably going to lose this city. I forgot about that. Well, yeah, so this city does have access to uranium. That's pretty funny because Iceland has been a key point for all of us. We're all rooting for all sorts of... Uh, we're all rooting for the Ice Iceland... I don't know. The Iceland island. Whoever controls Iceland, we want to win. I, I personally do. Uh, well, they do have uranium back here in their mainland, which they're, they're going to they're gonna stay a hold. They're going to keep a, a good hold, a good strong hold on Porto. Um, I, don't wanna, I don't really want to go to the next turn just because there's so much going on right now. I don't want to miss anything. I, oh, wow. So uh, Portugal has a lot of uranium. Yeah, a lot. Uh, total right now is eight. They probably will lose a few of it. Uh, do you have anything in Africa? You do. Holy shit. And Maria is actually starting to get her ass kicked right now by, uh, yeah, so you have 10, 10 sources of uranium. That's insane. Anything for Spain? Yes, of course, Spain has uranium too. Uranium is everywhere. We might definitely see a lot of nuclear war uh, in this video. Does Sweden, not in this video, but uh, within the next coming videos. Yes, Sweden does have access to four uranium here. Anything else? I can't really tell. There's so many different icons uh, that are going around everywhere. Anything in Scandinavia? Okay, there's no uranium within Scandinavia. Um, Poland has access to uranium. Obviously, we're getting closer and closer to Russia, and that's the key one. Austria, but Austria may just lose this city to Vienna uh, to Poland soon. So Germany has some. Wow, so just about everybody, almost everybody has access to uranium. Germany actually has a lot. Uh, there's only a few civs that don't have access. Uh, the Scandinavian countries, so Russia does. Russia has, is this within their borders? It is. So that's four. Uh, anything else? Four, and then what is this? Four. So that's 16. They have 16 uranium because, you remember, you have to double uh, their strategic resources of, I believe, horses, iron, and uranium. So they could possibly build 16 nukes. Absolutely fucking destroy this whole this whole world. How cool would that be? I, I There's no doubt in my mind the Ottomans, the Ottomans have to have uranium. Yep, they have four. That's all it really matters. I mean, some of these civs have so much uranium, they could really bring down the world single-handedly. Yeah, the, the, the Ottomans have a lot. Uh, so does Greece. Of course, does Rome have any uranium? No. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big one, the fact that Rome doesn't have any uranium, not even in their African colonies uh, either. Uh, Carthage is still kind of regaining some tr uh, their, their power back. They might get Toledo, which would give them access to at least two uranium. Does Morocco have any uranium? No, doesn't look like it. So, so far, some big ones are the Scandinavian civs, uh, Rome, and Morocco do not have any uranium. Uh, a lot of the Europeans do, though. Okay, so that's, oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. They have it right on the, um, what is it, Sardinia for strategic, so you know what, more than likely we could probably assume that they all have, because uh, who knows about the colonies, Sweden does, never mind, it's Denmark that doesn't have any, okay, well anyways, pretty much we can assume that almost every civ has uranium, that's, that's, that's the whole point right now, okay, let's go to the next turn, and stop talking, I just wanted to briefly go over that, because that was pretty important, Greece actually has, uh, some uranium as well, so never mind, it's not as, it's it, practically everybody, except for obviously the very small people, France, <laughs> France doesn't even have territory right now, 
Uh, so let's watch England as she continues to move forward. Wow. Wow, what a battle. What a battle. So now we have Greece uh, joining in on the fall of Austria. Poor Austria. They're probably going to lose uh, their city off uh, Graz here, I believe is how you pronounce it. Yep, we have uh, Greek, a Greek fleet coming in and, and probably going to take that, uh, that city right north of, just, just north of the Black Sea. It's so funny to see these ship of the lines that, uh, that Portugal has captured from their privateers. That is pretty cool. That is, that is pretty cool. It's also key, like, whoever has access to a lot of uranium, or I'm sorry, whoever has access to a lot of subs, uh, submarines are going to, oh, what is this? Yo, it captured by Carthage. So Carthage is getting back one of her cities. It really doesn't matter. The damage has already been done to Dido. Uh, these, these cities have gone down to one population. Uh, if she takes back these two cities, uh, well, actually, she, this is a, this is a Portuguese city originally. Um, this, however, is not. But the de the damage has has been done. Uh, a lot of the citizens within these cities have already died. Whenever you, you know you 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 lose a city and then you grab it back, I mean it, the damage is already done. Uh, that's the problem is that you just lose so many citizens to that battle. All right, so it looks like the World Congress has become the United Nations. All right, so we're gonna get some votes. Uh, that does not matter, however, because. Um, what, why does that not matter? Because, oh, because there's there's too many votes. You need 48 votes to win. Yeah, not going to happen. Um, and right now, the what's the, what's like 16? Not even. Six. No eights. No 12. Poland, Poland looks like they have the most amount of uh, diplomatic votes here at 12. Okay. Okay, good, good to know. I can't. I'm not going to choose any hosts. Um, and let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do with our spies. We've got one in Warsaw. I mean, really, is this... Yeah, this is pretty key. I think I should continue to do this. I don't know what Babylon... I'm just going to kind of search throughout here. I mean, who are some key ones? I, I want to figure out what Spain is going to do. Um, I, I definitely need to figure out what Spain's going to do because Spain is pretty quiet somewhat. Uh, they've stayed pretty quiet, and they really could have a big impact on this game, especially when it comes to England. Uh, Spain is, is, a, is a big one when it comes to England. Oh, uh, shit. Madrid, okay. I've almost forgot for a second there. I almost forgot this, the capital of Spain. I, I will not forget another capital, like I did the Morocco capital. Uh, we can go ahead and view. I know that, uh, I don't know why I don't ever use this button, but we can view, uh, what's going on inside of Warsaw. Uh, they are building an infantry unit in one turn. Uh, they've got border growth coming in one turn. They're doing 210 science in Warsaw right now. Wow, they're about to generate a great scientist. Oh, look at that. We even get access to their citizen management. That's pretty cool. Can I miss this? No, I can't mess with I was going to say, that would be way too much power if I could mess with this around. Uh, definitely not. They're working several specialists right now. Pretty big-ass city. 29 citizens. One of the biggest cities in the world, I believe. Um... Wow, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check Istanbul now that we're on this sort of topic here. Uh, nearly, not as nearly as powerful as, as well, there are a lot of buildings in Istanbul. Uh, and part of the reason, I believe, is because of possibly, no, I'm not sure. Maybe you're not, gen maybe this is, this is like your, your city where you just build a bunch of buildings, not ma very many units. You've got a bunch of great works. Good for you. Got a, a few specialists about to generate yourself a great musician very soon. Uh, not doing nearly as much science. I mean, this is definitely not as good of a city. Um, I do kind of want to keep... I do want to kind of keep... The, I mean, these are big, big... I think I'm going to keep these guys there. Poland and, and the Ottomans are, are very clearly some of the strongest. Uh, but we'll see what we we'll see what we go from there. Uh, eventually, I've got to go into and figure out what Elizabeth's doing. But right now, it's not. there's no point because we know what she's doing. She's going to war with Portugal. Uh, that's, and that's what we're... And, th and that's what we're watching here. That's really the key here. Damn! Just being completely surrounded. And I think that she's going to begin to make her move on Lisbon. Wow, Portugal could lose her capital, and that would be done deal. It doesn't matter if she takes it back. Uh, when you lose your capital, it's that's that's a goner right there. Nothing, Things just don't get better at that point. How about Rome? How's Rome doing? Rome survived. Got to have mad respect for Rome. Mad, mad respect for Rome. Rome has quite a big aircraft, uh, a big a big air station within the uh, island of Sardinia. Wow, six, I, that's got to be some of the most. I don't know if I've even seen anyone make planes yet. There's, there are, a, okay, we've got Morocco with three um, in one city. It's weird that the, that's a little bit dangerous to be putting most of your aircraft units within one city, especially when this map is just full of uranium. Uh, we didn't even check on a lot of these other guys. Yeah, so Egypt has access to uranium. Uh, four, that's all they really need. There's really no point in checking anymore. Arabia is still going after, uh, but they cannot. They, the, Arabia is still going after. Oh, there goes the Austrian capital. And England and Portugal made peace. Interesting. That 
That probably isn't the smartest. Uh, Arabia is still trying to figure out exactly, and Dido captured another city back. Oh, no, by Portugal. No, Portugal captured it back from Dido. Okay, never mind. Vice versa. Doesn't really matter. That city is just fucking ruined. Poor, that poor uh, Carthaginian city. Yeah, so Arabia, Arabia just can't figure out how to, how to make it, itself across the Red Sea. Um, it's not going to happen. There's no way. I don't think Elephantine, I believe is how you pr would pronounce this. There's there's no way. Actually, you know what? Egypt also has a pretty big amount of aircrafts uh, within the city as well. I'm wondering how, how, how much that's helping them out against their war against Arabia. Arabia does as well. So there are a lot of planes. Arabia actually might have the most amount of planes. I see scattered aircraft units all throughout this region. Arabia has their own source of uranium, but probably one of the uh, lowest amounts in the entire game. Only access to two. That's really relatively low compared to the rest of the world. That's really, really low uh, relative to the rest of the world. If Ramsey's uh, completing the Kremlin, and what else? So we have Nebuchadnezzar and the Netherlands. That doesn't really matter. Neb the Netherlands are gone. I know that I could probably get rid of the Netherlands and France completely, uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, it, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I, I do kind of want, want to let the civs do whatever they're going to do. So it looks like Prague isn't going to be the next strong city-state in this game. Uh, it looks like Poland was was able to manage to take out Vienna themselves. How is Greece doing on their attack of Graz here? Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, I didn't even realize. No, I mean, they could attack from this area, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's just going to be its going to be difficult trying to manage uh, the AI, at least. doesn't manage units well in between, like, a small sliver sliver of tiles like this. Okay, so we had another uh, another few uh, big things. Now, let's, let's double-check the wars that are going on. Info Addicts, what exactly is happening? Jesus, holy crap, look at that. Um... So let's, we've got, we've got everyone at, at war with Egypt. We knew about that, but that doesn't really matter. All that matters is that Arabia is at war with Egypt. We have a few people with Venice. A, a lot of people are still at war with Babylon, even though the main players are out, mainly Arabia and the Ottomans, as well as uh, Russia. Oh, no, Russia is still at war with them. Is Greece still at war with them? No. No, they're not. Okay. So yeah, there's just wars all over the place. Maybe I will go ahead and maybe delete a few of those, just to make the info addicts a little bit cleaner. Uh, to, if, if we delete France and the, the Netherlands from this, uh, it'll probably make things look a little bit cleaner. So why did, why? Why did Elizabeth decide to not pursue Lisbon? Uh, they really let Portugal off the hook there, and Portugal's gonna remain strong. Gotta give it to Portugal here. I mean, she has freaking survived. This is the second time where I really thought she was gonna get her ass kicked, and you know what? Spain had a big opportunity here to really kind of set the set the tone spain still does isabella still can set that tone uh we have maria has been captured by rome what city what city did rome capture something by rome oh wow so they grabbed this wow that's impressive uh gotta say those submarines in the mediterranean are really helping out augustus caesar um so that's an interesting interesting little capture that they made there uh now they have three colonies within northern africa uh, how is Morocco doing? And I do want to double check here, just to make sure that I mean Spain's not at war with anybody. Besides, you know, I mean, doesn't I? I mean, I guess uh, they're not at war with any adjacent civs. That's all that really matters. Another one. Oh, is that is that? Yep. Oh wait, what is that? No, Maria Theresa has been captured by Poland. What city was that? Uh, so in Austria lost a city, but I don't know where it was because this is unless this is still like transitioning over no i guess not maybe oh you know what austria probably had a settlement out here in asia yeah yep there it is right there okay that makes sense i was a little confused there okay so austria might get wiped out of this game next we shall see uh but let's go ahead and double check though i really want to check uh because i can't remember i can't really recall right now so spain is at war with egypt and rome that doesn't really matter uh it does somewhat matter in the mediterranean but rome isn't really worried about making offensive attacks I don't think on the Iberian Peninsula, as well as vice versa. I don't think Isabella wants to make attacks uh, inside the Italian Peninsula either. Technically, Florence could get taken over because they are allied to Rome, uh, and there are there's a surrounding Spanish fleet and military powers. So Florence may go down. We may see Florence get uh, get taken over here, which will only give Spain even more power and ultimately be bringing the two biggest European powers besides Poland. Uh, Poland is a very, very much, you could argue, the strongest European civs. They, they are. Straight up, they are. But in terms of Western Europe, if ever Spain and England go to war, that will be the day. 
that uh, that Europe is rocked for. I, I, that's just a clash of titans right there. That's really it. So, um, Babylon is trying to pass Confucianism as the world's religion. That's stupid. There's no way that's ever going to get passed. And Poland will begin in international games. That'll be interesting to see who wins that. Uh, that's going to provide the winner with 100 extra tourism as well as a free policy, uh, which they get uh, because of... Wait, wait. They... Oh, yeah. They get 100 extra tourism and a free policy. Damn, that's a good-ass deal. Uh, for the bronze winner, you get three happiness. For the silver winner, you get three, hap or three happiness as well as a one-time city-state influence. Uh, so nothing, nothing too big. Nothing too big. Okay, so let's watch as Babylon gets completely rejected in the World Congress. Absolutely not. Everyone hates a few people. A lot of the... This is, there's a lot of hate going on. There's really a lot of hate going on in the non-European civs. Uh, I feel a, little, feel a little fucked up for that scenario. Wow, the Ottomans. Look at the freaking Ottomans. Jeez. Just completely surrounding Dur. I just feel bad. A uh, lot, of, lot of hate, though, for, for Egypt and Babylon. And I know, I know that, you know, the European civs are biting their tongues, but I guarantee you they hate Solomon. They absolutely hate Solomon. So, uh, oh, the Ottomans are still at war with Babylon. That's what I thought. So they're probably going to take it now. I don't think, I mean, even with uh, Walls of Babylon, a very good city, combat, defense, uh, and an artillery unit within stationed within that city, I don't think that's going to be enough. So Austria is piecing out with Babylon. They, they, they realize that it might be their final hour within this game. Poor, poor Austria. Uh, it's not poor Austria. I mean, I don't really care. Uh, Austria kind of needed to go to really make things okay here. Damn. I mean, the, the at least the map is looking cleaner and cleaner. Within every single video, we're starting to see the map really clean itself up pretty nicely. I know it's kind of a weird term to say, but it, it, it seriously is. Uh, we should also check on a cultural victory. I believe we might have... I don't think it's going to be possible. It's going to be very, very unlikely unless the civs get to, you know, obviously those really, really big technologies like the internet. Uh, that'll be key. Uh, so stuff like that. We should check on that. And also a science victory. It's, it's about to turn 252. Uh, we could be very near a possible victory soon. So uh, world's religion Confucianism was not passed. That's what we thought. How many nays? The entire world voted against that. There was, there was not one single yay. That is crazy. And then, of course, uh, this was passed. I don't even know why the AI ever votes nay against this. France, Denmark, Babylon, Austria, Netherlands, and Venice. Oh, so I surprisingly, because that always passes. I don't know why. It's kind of stupid if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, so Warsaw has uncovered that Kashmir, uh, I know I pronounced that wrong. I apologize for my stupidity, uh, is now plotting it against Alexander. That seems about right. That's the next biggest power. Uh, well, I mean, that's probably the weakest power that, that is adjacent to you besides Germany. You know, Germany isn't very strong, although they do have a lot of, uh, I know I probably shouldn't be calling these German cities colonies because technically uh, I think they still are within uh, Europe. But, I mean, they're away from the mainland. I mean, they're away from their homeland. You know, they're away from the adjacent city tiles of their capital. So, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't call those stuff colonies. But, but I, I I don't know. I just, I, I just see it as colonies. Okay, so let's check the info addicts here and see. What do we got? World's rankings. Technologies. How are we doing, buddy? So, we've got Russia at number one with 63 technologies. Poland right behind at 63. We could ultimately see a war there. But, you know what? At the end of the day... I got it. I, I think Russia would win that war. They've got 16 uraniums. 16. I mean, that's that's more than enough for a, a nuclear arsenal to be able to really wipe out almost every single city within Asia. Uh, and then also, I mean, they could use that to build other things like, like nuclear, uh, those nuclear buildings. I, I'm blanking right now. The, uh, the nuclear power... You know, that provides you with production and, and all that other shit. Uh, so I think Russia is is a powerhouse here. They are technically a powerhouse. Unfortunately, England is doing good, and they have, they have a very awesome navy, but this they're only at 56 technologies. Uh, 56 is not okay. They are, they're really, really lagging behind here. Um, and then we have Germany right behind at 60, Morocco at 59, the Ottomans at 59, Babylon. Surprisingly enough, I think that was just enough. That huge coalition that formed against Babylon was just enough to take them out of the uh, victory type here. Or I guess it's some sort of science victory pulling that out. Uh, influence by player. How would be the best way to, to kind of search for this? Oh, we, if we go to the victory progress screen, I believe would be maybe the, maybe the best. 
Zero influence. Okay, so there's there's no influential anything over. The, actually, is this you are? Oh, okay, you are. Well, we'll we'll, we'll check on that in the next video. We'll, we'll find the window to check on possible uh possible cultural victories from a sieve because that is possible technically. We're just gonna have to get way deep in the tech tree for that to uh kind of be logistic. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.